The ATC Lifetrack system offers two different hardware kits so that you can go ahead and easily move your accessories or your cabinets and tables inside the trailer. The accessories, which are more of the lighter duty race components, different things like that, that uses a roll-in nut, a flange head screw, and a 3 16th Allen wrench. Um, but then the cabinets, which are a little bit more heavy duty, the sofa, the tables, different things like that, it requires a T-bolt and a half inch nut. And we'll show you how all of that stuff works. ATC's Lifetrack cabinets are extremely versatile. This one here is a 12 inch by 24 inch cabinet and it can be mounted vertically or it could be mounted horizontally. And that's because on the back, we actually have different mounting brackets so you can actually mount it whichever works best. For the application that I'm gonna to use today, I'm gonna to install it up here vertically, um, right up here on the wall so it matches with that. So what it'll do is put the T-bolts up here into the track system. And then you can go ahead and lift it up on there. One thing that's important is that on the bolts, the bolts actually get oriented so that the eye is going vertically. That means that it's actually engaged into the track. And you've got your washer, your half inch nut, And then you go ahead and secure it down. And then your cabinet is nice and secure up to the wall. It's actually really tight with very little vibration, but it gives you the flexibility that you can move your cabinets virtually anywhere inside the trailer. To move the modular accessories in the ATC Lifetrack system, all you need is a 3 16 Allen wrench. Um, and I generally loosen it up a little bit. Don't loosen it all the way to the point where the screws are coming out, but just enough so that you can loosen it. Take your code cord reel off, and then you can actually just lift the device up and out. And we use a, a flange head screw. Now I go ahead and take that all the way out. If you do need to move these to a different place in the trailer, what you do is you take the screw out, and then what I do is take a, a screwdriver or something where you push the top of it up so it's actually at an angle and then you can get your fingers in there pretty easily and go ahead and remove it from the track. And then to put it in over here on the other, other side, I always put the clip so that the hands are facing up and you go ahead and clip it in and then you can go ahead and start your screw and then you just grab your accessory tighten it down Now you've put that at a different side of the trailer, all without putting any screws in the sidewall of your trailer.